Okay, welcome back. This is the part where we are going to uh, add the extension to the VS Code and also download the source code from Xdebug to compile it and uh, create an extension. So let's go here to Visual Code. Uh, you can click on this icon and search for PHP debug uh, make sure it's the Felix Becker one so let's click install hopefully this is not going to take too long this is still installing okay that was quick so reload just to make sure that it's, uh, it's in there good so now it's part of our system so we can click on here and uh, it comes with a very very good description actually helps a lot uh, in how to uh, guide you to do the installation um, you can read all this part but basically it's already digested into our commands uh, the important part here is that it's going to give us a link to the debug installation wizard which is uh, what we have already set here. Okay, so the instructions say that uh, we want we they want us to enter the information from our system, the information included in the PHP info. So we have it already here. So localhost PHP info. And the whole thing, they want uh, the whole thing to be added to this wizard. So, one quick way to do it is click on the page and they then say Control A. Everything is going to be selected and then Control C to copy. We go to the page and then we say Control V to paste. Good. Click here, analyze my PHP info, and uh, the Xdebug comes up with all these instructions that we will follow. And the instructions ask us to download this file, so we will click here. Downloading is taking place. I think it's done. So we say show all and we go to the folder. Good. So it's in here. Now uh, we can say, actually, that's okay. We will go to our own terminal. directory and go to our downloads folder where we have the file and we will we can work here in the downloads folder it's not, not a problem because actually the the output of this is going to be a extension object and we will move that extension object to the correct place so we can use the downloads as a temporary temporary file folder. Okay, so let's continue with the instructions here. Okay, so we downloaded this already and now we're going to... Uh, these are the same instructions from the wizards, so if you prefer we can follow them here. Or we can copy and paste from here. So you see the output of that um, uh, process was to create this folder, xdebug260. Now we're going to change to the directory. And we're going to use 
this command. Now, uh, this is not a problem. Uh, this command is not included in our system yet, so the only thing that we have to do is uh, perform the installation of this development package. So, sudo apt install. This process is just to install the, this utility, PHP ICE. This is taking a while, but uh, we expected that. So now we're going to, as soon as this is finished, we're going to continue with this command. rerun this command. This is um, the wizard requested us to verify that the module numbers are the same. And as you can see, they match. So we're okay. Now we can continue with these commands. We are configuring now the source code as a pre-step before making or compiling the source code. Good. And then we say make. Good, so this finish, finishes this uh, part of the video.